Hello YouTubers, this is Mr. Kashi Gashi. Um, this is a this is the second part of my unboxing and reviewing. Now that was I just did the unboxing and now I'm doing the reviewing. Um so I have that blue thing on there as a revealer, as you saw in my first video. Um so this is still missing one piece of straight track, that one in there. That's one of these from here to here. That's about an eight inch piece of track. Yeah, eight inch piece of track. So, and it, as you see, it barely fits on my coffee table. Um, so, uh, I have it all hooked up. Um, it's all plugged in into the uh, thing, and it is all ready to go. So, what I'm going to do now is, uh, first of all, bring, bring the table a little closer, and then um, I'm gonna start reviewing the actual train itself. So, uh, and, uh, I've had a few, like, a couple times to check out the engine, or the cars. So, on it, it has this protective cover, which I really like. Um, it really protects the train. So, on the, oh, on the Kato Shinkansen sets, um, there is only one power car. I did that right? Yeah. Sorry. It looked like it was coming apart. Um, there's only one powered car. Um, some sets have have this car. Well, I think all sets have that. It has like a big door. It's kind of like a diner lounge thing. Um, so let's start out with uh, the first car. So this is should say right there. This is uh, 21. 21-2002 21 is always meaning the first car um, this has this is the front it has um, LED um, red and white marker not marker lights but um headlights um, so uh, I'm gonna show you that right now I'm gonna put it on the track and then I'll put it on full intensity and I'll show you how fast this thing can go until it, uh, until it, um, so let me take this off and I'll, and I'll turn it on. So I'm going to put it on forward. This is not the engine car. So, uh, okay, so never mind. That's backwards. So that's the red lights. Um, on here they appear a little white, but they are red. Um, the... They kind of show through the cab a little bit, um, so I mean I'm gonna glide it through the track, and as you see, it glides really well and pretty much goes all the way across the track. Um, and I'll give it one more push. I don't want to make it go off the track. So that's the end marker lights. I'm gonna switch it to forward, and that is the forward LED lights. Um, this is on full throttle and, um, on the area and it's on the red zone. Sorry about that. It's on the red zone. So this is as bright as it go. So here it is again. Um, as you can see, it has a very, very big headlight in the dark and it will, will light up the dark. And I'll show you the fastest you can go without it tipping. And that's about right there. Um, right at the red, maybe a little bit further. This is like, this is where I feel comfortable. I feel a little unsteady right there at the red. So I go a little between the, the, this, um, the middle and then the red. So I go about right there. And this is how bright it will be. Um, it's still quite bright and it will still light up the area. I mean, as you see, it still does that. And then I'll do the red marker light or red light. Yeah. And uh, that also gives off a glow um, on the table, on where your stuff is. So that's probably, that's as fast as you go. Um, so I'm going to switch it to forward. And that's one thing that I was wondering about this. As a power, I don't know if it's ta Tomitech or Tomex Micro Ace or if it's just this model, the Kato. Um, because when you go faster, the light goes, it's brighter. And that's what I was hoping it wasn't because I know I know sometimes um, that the uh, when you just switch it forward when you switch it forward the lights come on directly 
when you switch it off, no lights come on, and then you switch it backward, the lights come on directly. Um, so I don't know. So, yeah. All right, so you saw this one. Now let's get to the, uh, let me switch that around. Sorry, I'm gonna switch this around. So you saw the first car. I'm gonna put that on and then have that, sorry. All right, so let's review the last car, which is the, ah, oh, my God, I just had a sandwich, so for lunch, um, oh, wrong way. Um, before I put it on the track, I wanna show you a really cool feature. As you see, you can see the um, pantograph, and that does raise. Let me get it to raise. And uh, oh, there we go. It's completely risen. And that's, I think, is freaking amazing. And then you can lower it and then raise it again. And be careful, these do break off. Well, not break off. They're, the, um, if you can see it down there, they're kind of clip on. I dropped one, uh, I didn't drop it, I mean I accidentally, you have to be very gentle with this because this is really thin. Um, it came off and I'm like, oh my god, I just broke my brand new train set, but they clip back on. That's what I like about this. Um, so as you see, this also glides very well. So I'm going to put that one over there. Um, I'll do the engine car last. This is the same thing as that, um, let me put up the pantograph because on the Zero Series, all pan well, on all Japanese and constant trains, the pantographs are all up. All pantographs are up all at the same time. This I'm, I'm noticing doesn't go up as far. And I do try to lift it a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Now it's lifted all the way up. Just have to... Mm, crap. It just tends not to, uh, sorry. Sorry with my finger. Like I said, I'm doing this by hand. Shit. Ah! Okay. Well, let me put this one back on. All right. So, um, and just if you guys are wondering, there is a certain way. Um, on the Zero Series, it's the, in, in the first car. The first car is always the one without a pantograph. And for the end car and the last car is the one that has the pantograph so the first one has no pantograph the, the last one has a pantograph and each car every other car it has a pantograph so this one doesn't this one will this one doesn't this one will this one doesn't and so on so it's every other car so this one, this one, all the other cars are really quite light this one's the heaviest um, this is the motor car um, and I'll show you that you can run it by itself. Um, so let me, I'm not going to do that. But let me hook up the cars and uh, I'll show you it, how it runs. And it does run beautifully. Sure. Alright. Let's get this going. Alright, here we go. So that's about a quarter of the power right there. And what I'm gonna do is put it in the box and uh, let you walk it. All right, and this is about half power. And I'll scoop it back so you can see it more. That's half power. And uh, this is more I feel comfortable where you can get the most lighting from. And that's about a quarter of the way. Um, if this was on the floor, I would go to the red and what we're gonna let's see. This is at the red. Oh shit. Yep. <laughs> that was at the red. And it does come off the track. That's alright. And it was weird because I was doing it at that at that speed earlier and uh I think, all right, just to let you know if you don't know what just happened, the train did come off the track. So do not go anywhere near the red, 
as my advice to you. And also, so where I ran it comfortably was about right here, right there. When it's pointed toward the S, that's where I ran it comfortably and got a good lining. Maybe a little past the S is as far as I'll go. I got to the red and it just went, but it just fell off. Might be because it is off the table and it hangs off a little bit. So I would just put it a little, a little pointed at the S or a little away from the S. So um, let me turn the power off, go forward, and uh, I'll let you see that again and uh, just really hope that it doesn't crash again. So I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to show you how good this goes when it's really slow. I really like that because it's steady. Um, it goes slow, but it's a steady slow. It's not kind of jerky. Um, there is a tiny bit of a jerk, but you can barely see it. So I'm going to put it up to a quarter power again. Half. Point it at the F. And even that's a little uncomfortable for me. So I'm just going to put it, point it, point it to, towards the R of the standard, which is right here. So, and that seems to have a good lighting. Let's get it right there. So, uh, here we go. Yeah. I'm really enjoying this conjunction set. I do plan on getting another set, so uh, let me bring this to a halt. You can get this hooked up with S, um, DCC. Let me get that to a halt. All right. And then uh, I'm gonna put it in reverse. Even in reverse, it still has a good steady crawl. And I'm gonna put it up to half speed. So now it's going, as someone would say, backwards. But, um, yeah. Alrighty, so, uh, there's my videos. Um, I thank you for watching, and I'll keep you guys updated if you guys are interested on the, uh, well, I'm still going to post videos, but, um, I'm either going to get another additional add-on car set when I get money, or I'll get another, um, track set that has a station or I might just order the uh, 100 series. So uh, this it's the 100 series is just like this, but um, the nose, the uh, the cab, the cab, the uh, the cab window is a little bit the cab window is a little bit darker, um, and the nose is a little more pointed. Um, so it's just a little more pointy. So uh, I'm going to just go by each car, just really slowly. Right there, that little thing on top of the engine is the uh, antenna, so it's going to communicate. And now as you'll see here, it says car 1, right? Oh, never mind, that's car 16. Um, this is, let's see, what car is this? It says on it right there. I can't really read it that far. That's car nine. Um, that's car two. And then here is car one. And there you go. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.